every every club you sign for, they give you this the same pitch. We've got big project, great ambitions. We you know we we want to achieve this, we want to achieve that, we want to kick on and be a better team. I just happened to be lucky that City was the the one club that didn't lie about it. Vincent Company was a titan of the Premier League era, forming the bedrock of Manchester City's successful evolution from mid-table mediocrity in the shadow of Manchester United to perennial title favourites and one of the biggest clubs in the world. He was the heart and soul of the club for over a decade, a do-it-all defender and a true leader of men. So how good was the current Bayern Munich manager as a player? Well, it only took two years from the moment he left City for them to raise a statue in his honour. So yeah, he was pretty good. Born in Brussels, Company joined Anderlecht Academy as a teenager, and by 17, thanks to both his footballing intelligence and physical presence, he was called up for the first team. I put my whole life in a game. I started when I was five, and I never really put on my football boots and just started kicking a ball against the wall. I was always thinking about the game. For Anderlecht, au plus haut le prix, au meilleur le joueur, ce qui n'est pas tout le temps fait, comme je trouve pas un million maintenant. An attaquant qui se mar qui se fait marquer les autres est plus important qu'un attaquant qui fait rien marquer. Astonishingly, his debut season ended with both the league title and the Belgian Golden Shoe awarded to the league's best player. Several top clubs were after him, including Manchester United. In late 2003, Sir Alex Ferguson needed cover for the long-term suspension of defender Rio Ferdinand. He attended Anderlecht's game against Celtic in the Champions League so that he could watch company, but was impressed by Celtic midfielder Liam Miller and signed him instead. So there's an alternate reality where we had Rio and Vinny instead of Rio and Vidic. Regardless, company wanted to continue his development in Belgium, saying, at the moment, the zeros in my contract are not so important. If I wanted to leave, I would have been gone already. After three seasons in Belgium, he was snapped up by Hamburg as a replacement for fellow countryman, Daniel Van Boyten. Limited to just six appearances by injury, he would bounce back the following season. But by 2008, after the club had tried to stop him from competing in the Olympic games with Belgium, he had grown tired of the club. He criticised chairman Bernd Hoffman as being one of those people who know about money but don't know anything about football. And just like that, he was off to Manchester on August 22, 2008. Only this time it wasn't Sir Alex Ferguson who pursued him, but Mark Hughes on the blue side of Manchester. Company put pen to paper on a four-year deal just 10 days before Sheikh Mansour's takeover. The first time I came through the door, it was, it was weird because it's, uh, it was a big club and at the same time a small club. Company started his city career in defensive midfield, but excelled when he was moved back into defence. His debut came with a Man of the Match award and a feeling like this guy was made for the Premier League. Vincent, how much did you enjoy your Premier League debut? Uh, I just loved it. I mean, uh, I was 100% enjoying and uh, I just like it, you know. A lot of uh, duels, a lot of uh, energy. Just love it. Surrounded by an influx of expensive talent, Company lived up to his billing as one of the continent's rising stars, as City climbed from 10th to fifth, and then to third in 2010-11, as City qualified for the Champions League for the first time. Within weeks, the vice captain was lifting his first trophy with the club, keeping a clean sheet in the 2011 FA Cup final win over Stoke City, but more importantly, beating United in the semi-final to get there. We're all the same, talk the same, behave the same virtually, uh, but some talk a little bit more nonsense than others, and usually they wear a red shirt. <laughs> Manchester City are back in the hunt for trophies with what could be a watershed victory over their local rivals. I said, <coughs> we put a foundation down, we're going to build a house on it now. He finished the season winning the club's Supporters Player of the Year and Players Player of the Year awards, racking up 50 appearances in all competitions, including 37 Premier League starts. For Vincent, the FA Cup was just the start. The following season, he was handed the captain's armband on a permanent basis. City first captain was Richard Dunn, Colo Toure, Carlos Tevez, and then um, Tevez went golfing for a few months, and, and then I was uh, captain by default for a bit, and then took over the next year. Captain Company kept the side disciplined at the cost of his own popularity in the changing room. Yeah, he had a fine sheet, logged of all the fines. Vincent Company. Yeah, he's like, is... he's like a school teacher. You know, head, headmaster. You know, one of those guys who you just, when you see him, you just turn the other way. His stern approach worked as he became the first captain to lead City to a top tier title since Tony Book in 1968. Though his contribution was most often near his own box, Company did make a decisive impact at the other end. In match week 35, 
City were three points behind United with three games to go, and Vincent Company stepped up. For me, I always feel in, in big moments, in moments you know like this, I'm I'm gonna do something. I don't know what is a header, what is um, anything, you know, and uh, I always feel like I'm gonna do something. You know, I think some people they have an ingredient which you almost can't measure. Vincent Company, he has. It. Building by Dami Silva and turned in by Vincent Company. Manchester City ahead, right on half time. Cometh the hour, cometh the captain. Vincent Company may well have scored one of the biggest goals in Manchester City's recent history. And then in the final match of the season, with City needing a win, Sergio Aguero happened. The honour of lifting the Premier League trophy falls to captain Vincent Company. For his exceptional performances at the back, Company also became the first City player to win the league's Player of the Season award, the second centre half to do so after Nemanja Vidic. Company added another Premier League medal and a first League Cup to his captain in 2014, but a muscular injury sustained the following season would limit his game time, both that year and in the years to come. He was fit enough to captain City to further League Cup glory against Liverpool in 2016, but recurring strains would force the talisman onto the sidelines for large parts of his career. When fit, however, the centre-half would return to the starting lineup and make telling contributions to City's continued success. Purveyors of a game rarely ever more beautiful, the runaway champions of 2018 are Manchester City. At the climax of one of the great title races in Premier League history, still the champions in 2019 are Manchester City. He won four league titles, four league cups and two FA Cups, making 360 appearances for Manchester City, scoring 20 goals. With Belgium he amassed 89 caps and helped the side to a third place finish in the 2018 World Cup, their best placing in history. His reading of the game and timing of the challenge was matched by his comfort and ease in possession. Despite his later struggles with injuries, the impact of the Belgian on a number of City's sides, from the first title winners under Mancini to Guardiola's serial winners, cannot be understated. Pablo Zabaleta, Joe Hart, and, and Vincent Gomp is one of these guys like helps this club make a step forward, you know, and, and, and make it better. And, and 10 years here, so, it doesn't matter how many titles won now from now on into the future, he's part of this club like one of the most, the greatest players ever. The twilight of his Manchester City career produced arguably its most significant highlight. It was the third last game of the season. Manchester City sat two points behind Liverpool and were struggling to break down Leicester City at the Etihad. What happened next would help City win the Premier League by just one point and help complete the domestic treble. I think to myself, don't shoot. Vinny, pass me, pass me the ball. Just don't do this, Vinny, please don't do this, just pass the ball. And it was annoying me and I said, hold on a second. I've not come this far in my career for, for young players to tell me whether I can take a shot or not. And I just took it. Getting closer. Oh! In my head, I was like, yeah, he has to shoot now. And then he shot and pff, what a goal.